My name is Marcel Knecht. My name is Marcel Knecht. Today I'm going to explain to you how a reversal measurement for the determination of the zero offset with a Wheeler Blue system works. I'm also going to outline the difference between a relative and an absolute measurement. With blue level, we determine the zero offset using a reversal measurement. In order to enter the values contact-free, we are using the zapper. Now I'm showing you how to align an object horizontally. In our case, a granite setting plate, using a blue level. Now I'm performing a reversal measurement. For the precise positioning of the measuring instrument, I've marked an auxiliary line. In the menu, I'm selecting the item absolute zero, and I'm confirming it with the Enter key. With the zapper, I can now trigger the first measuring value contact-free. Now I'm turning the instrument by 180 degrees in the horizontal, positioning it on the exactly same spot. Then I'm triggering the second measuring value with the zapper. My reversal measurement is now terminated and I can see that I have to correct the setting plate by 173 micrometers per meter. The zero offset of the instrument has been eliminated. Now we are ready to horizontally adjust our object, the setting plate. Now I am aligning the second axis. Thus, the object is perfectly horizontal. With two blue levels and a blue meter sigma, I can align an object, in our case, the setting plate, even faster and more efficiently. Using the blue meter sigma, I'm able to perform a reversal measurement on both measuring instruments simultaneously. In the menu on the blue meter sigma, I'm selecting the item absolute zero and I'm confirming it with the enter key. To read the first measuring values, I'm activating the enter key again. Now, I'm positioning the measuring instrument on exactly the same spot, but turned by 180 degrees in the horizontal. and I'm reading out the second value with the Enter key. My reversal measurement is now completed. The zero offset of the measuring instrument has been eliminated, and I'm now positioning the blue levels in the desired measuring axis. I can see that I have to adjust my setting plate in the X direction, by 183 micrometers per meter and in the y direction by 6 micrometers per meter. As you can see, our object is now perfectly horizontal. 
This is a typical example for an absolute measurement where a previous reversal measurement is indispensable. Summarizing, we can conclude that an absolute measurement is necessary if an object is adjusted horizontally, as seen before. We also use the absolute measurement for the long-term monitoring of changes on objects, such as a hydro dam, a building, a bridge, and so on. A further application requiring the absolute measurement is the comparison of various elements of a machine tool. For example, the horizontal to the vertical guideway. Where is a relative measurement sufficient? In the flatness measurement, we are not interested in the inclination of the object, but in the structure, respectively the flatness of the surface. This is the end of my presentation. I hope that this demonstration has been of interest to you. Further information on wheel of precision inclination measuring instruments can be found on our website or on our YouTube channel.